So ever since Donald Trump left the White House, there's been a lot of talk about how he might monetize his brand. You know, a lot of former presidents write books or start giving speeches, but everyone sort of assumed that Donald Trump was going to do something bigger. And we got an indication of what that was going to be a couple of months ago when they announced the formation of the Trump Media and Technology Group. Big tech and all of those on the left for so long, Sean, have been saying, well, if you don't like the rules that we really enforce only one way on our platforms, go create your own. And so we did just that. Now, this is a company that doesn't really do much yet. They don't have any business. You can't buy anything from them, but it's more of an idea. And they've decided to merge that idea with a pile of cash and then have those merged companies trade publicly. And right now, based on how the pile of cash is trading, investors are assuming that this idea is worth about $8 billion. So that would make it an extremely valuable media company. And certainly it indicates that there are a lot of people who are excited about what this could become. Now, obvious question, how much of this stuff is actually going to be Donald Trump's? So we don't actually know yet what percentage of the Trump Media and Technology Group Trump owns currently. There are some indications that he might own a majority of it. If he does own a majority of it, and if the share price stays at that current level, then you're looking at at least $3 billion for Donald Trump. Now to put that in perspective, Donald Trump over his entire life has been accumulating assets. He was receiving you know, $1,000 a month from his father when he was three years old and he's been piling on ever since. Now, over all those years, he's amassed about two and a half billion dollars. So right now, investors are suggesting that if he owns more than half of this, of this company that's merging with the SPAC, then that asset, which is not an operating company, you can't buy anything from it, it's just an idea. That asset is worth more than everything else that he's spent his entire life piling up. And that's when the numbers start to get a little bit head scratching. And you have to wonder whether people ultimately are gonna say, you know what, this thing isn't actually worth quite as much as we think it might be worth. And if that happens, then some of these numbers are gonna fall apart.